Hey guys, we are live. It is Tuesday, it is three o'clock, and we are live every Tuesday at three to talk about entrepreneurial concepts and tools and tips and things that you can impl implement in your business, side hustle, and entrepreneurial journey. Today, we're going to talk a bit about how you can use your time more effectively. And I'm going to share some awesome secrets, viewpoints that you can implement to really get your time working for you okay because I know that's the biggest problem people in general as well as entrepreneurs struggle with and that is getting everything done right <laughs> biggest biggest problem so we're going to talk a bit about using your time more effectively but before we get into that a few announcements guys a few announcements we are leaving Friday from Pretoria to PE so we're going to be in PE from the 12th to the 16th uh, which is going to be awesome and then on the 18th we have a know your business event right it's going to be in Pretoria at the Blue Diamond Hotel we have awesome speakers like Franco Leibrand, Klaus Bredereich and myself and we're going to talk a bit about what you need to know about your business and how important it is to really know your business uh, you can get your tickets at www.eclbs.co.za you can also check my facebook page or instagram page for more info on this awesome event uh class thanks so much for joining in class senior uh danica and charles henry thanks so much for joining in the live session today we're talking a bit about how to um, make your make use of your time more effectively so guys the first thing you need to change right in your mindset when doing time management is the fact that you think you have to do everything <laughs> okay that's the first thing you need to change you don't have to do everything to be successful you only need to do certain key things to be successful okay does this make sense i don't know if it does i'm going to explain right now okay so you only need to do certain key things that will take you forward to be successful as you're an entrepreneur as your business owner you'll see that there's a million things you need to do every day you need to respond to this emails you need to manage this client you need to deal with that employee you need to do this 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 but all of those things doesn't necessarily take you forward all of those things doesn't necessarily push your business or your personal life or your experience or your success forward you'll find that there's key things certain things that actually takes you to the next level and the other things are just clutter okay um, there, there's something called the 80 20 principle and you can check this out a bit you can read up on this a bit it, it says that 20 percent of the things we do um, or 80 percent of the things we do only gives you 20 percent of the result most of the time we need to change it around we need to be 20 percent of the things you do gives you 80 percent of the result now in your daily life there's a lot of things you do that doesn't give you an actual awesome result so you need to think about it that way that's a mind shift that you need to do and in that mind shift um, I've learned that you need to focus on one or even three things but if you can drill it down to one thing I've been reading a book called the one thing by Gary Keller and it's just amazing it talks about the one thing so in your daily life with your time planning with the things you need to take care of focus on one thing you need to get done for that day one thing that will truly push your business forward that will truly push you forward and I promise you you know what that one thing is on your to-do list there's a thousand things you need to do today you need to respond to all of these things you need to take care of this and that but you know that there's one item on there that if you do that if you send that mail if you contact that person if you execute on that idea it can really make a difference for your business and that is what you need to do you need to change your mindset instead of thinking you need to do everything and that you have to take care of everything that you only need to take care of that one thing that is truly important 
Now let's be realistic. There's never just one thing, okay? Um, but you can have at least like two, maximum two or three things. In my, in my career, in my daily life, I have a few different endeavors. So I do property investment. So I have construction sites where I develop, build new properties, renovate them, etc. Then I have Gazru where we do online media, social media, branding, graphic design. And then I have Millionaire 22 where we travel, do talks, uh, corporate talks, school talks, uh, give courses, etc. Now, those three things, every day, every morning when I wake up, the first thing I do is I identify one thing I need to do with my properties today that will take it forward to the, to the next level, one thing I need to do at Gazaru today that can make a difference, and one thing I need to do with Millionaire today that can really make an impact. And then I focus on executing on those things, on putting my time and effort into those three things to make sure that I execute on that. Because otherwise, I'll be in the same place that I was yesterday. So that, that's the first thing we're going to discuss today, or we, we discussed today, is that you need to focus on one thing and you just need to change your mindset so that you don't believe you need to do everything. I have two more things that I need to discuss with you that's really going to change the way you think about time management. That's really going to help you use your time more effectively. On the live session, we have Klaus, Klaus Senior, Danika Ritsen, uh, Scholl, Simon Schmidt, and Fazaina. Guys, thank you so much for joining in on the live session today. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, I think we're sharing some good value. If you're enjoying the session, uh, Celeste, send through a shop sign on the live session so I can see I'm on the right track. And if you have any questions at this stage, send them through immediately and we will talk about them. We're talking a bit about how to use your time more effectively. So the first one was you need to focus on one thing and you need to understand that you don't have to do everything. The second one is you need to become a juggler, right? You need to become a juggler. Let me explain. If you see a juggler on stage, they are professional, they are great at only holding a ball in their hands long enough, right? They have three or five balls they need to juggle and they hold it in their hands long enough and then they throw it back into the air uh, to come around to juggle the next ball. Now, if one of these, uh, if a juggler holds one ball too long, the other balls will fall, right? If they throw one ball too quick, that ball will fall, right? And if any of these balls fall on the ground, they will need to stop everything they're doing, bend down, pick up all of these balls before they can start juggling again. And that is the same in life. With all of the things you as an entrepreneur need to juggle in your career, in your daily life, you need to make sure that you do not hold on to those balls too long, right? That you do not spend too much time on a task that isn't really necessary. That you do not uh, micromanage this little project too much. But then also make sure that you hold the ball long enough and don't throw it away too early because then you're also going to drop that ball. So don't uh, move the project across your desk too early. Don't uh, get out of this project too early. Don't delegate too early. And this is a technique that you can only learn through experience, through trial and error, to understand how long you need to juggle these balls, how long you need to hold them. And a good example that I always use is math studies, right? If you study for a math test and you study three hours, right? Let's say you'll get 40% for that test. If you study six hours, will you get 80%? Most probably not. You'll get 50 or something. If you study uh, nine hours, will you get 160%? No. Most probably get 70 or something. When you study 12 hours, will you get 320%? No. You might, might probably get 90 or something. So your time is not always linear to the end result. So you need to determine what the end result is that you want from that task. 
and then only spend enough time on that task to get the desired result. Only hold that ball long enough to get the desired result before you throw it up, right? I hope this makes sense to you guys. If you're enjoying this session, send a shop on the live session so that I know I'm on the right track. We have a question on Facebook. Francois Griesel. Hi Albert. Hope all is well. I'm soon starting my career as an estate agent. Any tips? I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, but I don't know if I can directly apply it to the SA market. Definitely. Being an estate agent is a lot like being an entrepreneur. You need all of the same things. You need to be able to manage and run your business. You need to be able to make sales, deal with clients. You need to be able to manage your money and finance as well if you make money. You need to be able to know how to reinvest, grow your wealth. So being an estate agent is a lot, a lot like being an entrepreneur. So I'm sure you can definitely apply all of the things that we talk about on these live sessions and videos. Um, if you have any more specific questions, uh, send them through, then we can talk about it and answer these questions live on the live session. Klaus, uh, Danica, Charles, Simon, uh, Fazan, Celeste, uh, Arias, uh, James, Dominique and Stian. Guys, thank you so much for joining on, in on the live sessions. We talked a bit about how to uh, manage your time more effectively and how to get a better result. And I said you need to change your mindset, not thinking about being able to do everything, focusing on a few key things that you have to do every day and get that done. And when I wake up in the morning, that's the first thing I do. Focus on the three key things I need to get done that day to push my career forward. And then from there, you need to be a great juggler, making sure you spend only enough time on the things you need to do to get the desired result. Stian saying hello, hello Stian. Dominique is asking how does investment work? Guys, how does investment work? Okay, so that is a very vague question. Dominique, maybe you can elaborate a bit more, but I'll try to answer. Um, investment, uh, you always focus on a return. It's called a ROI, return on investment. So what you need to do in, with an investment is you invest capital or you invest time or you invest energy or you invest resources and you want an end result that gives a return. That is more than the time, energy, resources and capital that you've invested. Your investment should always have a positive return. So it's like property investment. You buy a property for let's say a million rand you rent it out for 30,000 rand a month so over a year you're getting a certain return on investment and within a year or two or three or four you get the whole return back so you've made a million back and then from there you make more and more and more so that is an investment investing in something that can give you a bigger return it can be an art piece that you buy for 500 rand uh, over 10 years time it grows with a uh, hundred percent whatever and you can now sell it for 5,000 or 50,000 Rand so that is an investment something that you buy or invest in with the intention for it to grow in value so you can resell um, Celeste is asking any tips for procrastinators okay so this one is a good one uh, there's a, a, a good friend of mine and motivational speaker called Frank Leverand and he taught me this concept it's called the five second rule okay Celeste so listen up carefully the five second rule and that means that before you if you feel like you don't want to do something you just count down from five okay five four three two one go the reason why you don't count up to five because then when you get to five you can go six seven eight nine up to infinity so the five second rule makes you count down from five until there's nowhere to count to and then you just need to do it and then another thing for procrastination is give yourself a reward if you can do it for 10 minutes because i promise you if you just get into it for 10 minutes and you start getting into it and you start getting momentum before you know it you'll be working for 30 minutes and then you had a lot more done than you would have by not doing it at all 
So promise yourself a reward if you can do it for 10 minutes. I used to, when I was studying industrial engineering, I used to put jelly babies in my books, right? So I would have my, my book that I need to study and every 10 pages I have a jelly baby. So if I can get to the next 10 pages, I can get a jelly baby. Still in my life today, I buy myself cool figurines and dinosaurs and pops and whatever um, collectibles and I put it in my closet, right? I don't take it out of the box. And then only if I complete this certain task or this goal or this thing I need to tackle, then I can take my present that I bought for myself, open it up and display it on my display case. So that helps with procrastination. Try the five second rule and then try giving yourself rewards if you re reach certain key um, points in the, in the uh, task and make sure you don't, you know, only go for five minutes or 10 minutes but then you'll see you'll get some momentum on that. Um, on the live session, Klaas, Danica, Charles, Simon, Fazan, Celeste, uh, James, Dominique, uh, Stian, Peter, um, Johannes, Dion. Uh, guys, if you're enjoying this live session, send the shop on the live session right now so I know I'm on the right track. We're having some good questions today, answering some good questions question Celeste says haha thanks makes sense I will try that procrastination tips tomorrow Stian is saying I actually like the idea of jelly babies on every 10 pages Stian it works I promise you I got through my industrial engineering degree in four years just with jelly babies <laughs> on the Facebook we have another question Joe Fenter regarding my startup photography business what would you say is the most important aspects to focus on the grow to grow the business, such as marketing, etc. Okay, so who's asking? Joe Fender. Hi Joe, so um, Joe is starting his photography business and he wants to know what is the most important thing to focus on as you start your business. And I would say, uh, he's asking marketing, this, that, that. Obviously Joe, there's no silver bullet. You need to, as an entrepreneur, you need to be able to handle all of the different um, facets of a startup but I would say the most important one is customer support okay with all of the startups that I've started I've always found that if you're a startup you treat your client like this you you make sure they're happy you give good service good um, product you do something different than the rest of the market and give excellent client service you will immediately get your startup to grow because of word of mouth because if you're a photographer and you're just taking photos and leaving, you're the same as everyone else. But if you have better client service, like, I don't know, you give them a chocolate as they come to the venue before you take photos of them, or you give them some tips on how they can also take photos in the future. You know, learn them some key photography tips or tools or whatever, or you, when you deliver their photography or your, their CD or their images or the USB, you put it in a nice wrapping or something like that. You would immediately kickstart your business with word of mouth so i think that's the most important thing and then obviously secondly build your own brand in terms of exposure get a proper instagram page get a proper facebook page get a proper youtube channel get a website proper um be on whatsapp status and get as much exposure as you can joe if that makes sense send through a shop on the live session so we know we're on the right track stian is saying i'm gonna try the jelly babies Good luck, Stian, with that. So to get back to the key topic that we talked about today, we had some great questions, guys, um, so far. To get back to the key topic, we talked about using your time more effectively, right? Using your time more effectively. And you need to change the way you think, your mindset about this, like we've discussed in this live session. And then from there, if you've changed your mind about focusing on one thing and being a good juggler, there's a lot of tools that you can use to kind of keep yourself on track. So in, in my personal life, I use a thing called Trello. It's an online platform that you can have on your desktop. You can have it on your mobile phone. And I load all of my tasks, my important things that I need to do, things that I, in the moment, you're on the, on, on the, with a client on the phone and you need to take note of something, I put it on there. And then that keeps like a basis for me of everything I need to do. I also book my calendar on there so that my brain doesn't have to think about all of those things and remember all of those things all the time. So I can forget about that things, clear my brain, 
uh, so that I can be creative and and be you know active and be um, you know in a good position in terms of my motivation and then I only look at those things uh, when I access my Trello so I don't have to worry about those things 24 7 so you can also use a tool or something like that to kind of manage your tasks manage your time manage your calendar it's good to have a process or software to use like that guys that was the live session on Tuesday at 3 I think we tackled how to use your time more effectively very well and then I think we answered a cool a few cool questions on entrepreneurship and uh, side hustle in business so guys I'm so happy you all tuned, tuned in had a great time we'll see you again next week uh, Tuesday on the live session at 3 so make sure you join in again next week get your entrepreneurial questions ready and then we'll see you again next week cool guys Klaus is saying shop Stian saying shop Johannes saying shop Jan is waving Peter is waving James saying shop Celeste saying shop awesome cool guys see you again next week